How to handle a wolf in sheep's clothing to supersize and grow your business. Wolf, sheep. I always had a lamb in the break room at my Italian food business. I don't know why, I thought it was cute and it matched the break room the way we had it painted and decorated, but I kept it after I sold that business because I thought it was cute. It's got cute little eyelashes. It's got like those fake eyelash extensions if you were to have those these days. So wolf belongs actually to my son-in-law. My daughter got it for him when they were dating. I don't know why, but I borrowed it for this video to get your attention so we can talk about how do you deal with a wolf in sheep's clothing? What is a wolf in sheep's clothing? This is one of those idioms and expressions that has been around since Jesus used it in the Sermon on the Mount. You can read about it in the New Testament uh, Gospel according to Matthew, I believe, 7.15 in the King James Version of the Bible or whatever religious home. You can actually just Google it too online and or whatever search engine you use and get all kinds of information about it. You can find out that Aesop is the one that actually made it even more popular probably than the Sermon on the Mount. Maybe not. I'm not sure who gets credit for that. But it also was used in the 12th century by a Rhetorian, or I don't even know how to pronounce the word, by the name of, and I'm going to definitely meet Axe this, Nicol Nicoprorus Basilacus. I have no idea. Anyway, so it's been around for a long time. And what does it mean? It means beware of false prophets bearing gifts. Beware of people that act as if they're your friend, but they really want to harm you in some way. Uh, look out for people that are uh, usually just out for themselves, but they or they want to take advantage of you and <clears throat> in some way, shape, or form manipulate. Mostly it breaks down to and comes down to manipulation. They want to manipulate you into uh, their advantage. Somehow they want to take advantage of you to benefit themselves. So I don't know about you, but I spent a lot of time in corporate America over a quarter century. And as one of the only women in the industries that I worked in, I met a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing. And I could probably regale stories for hours about specific examples of where I personally experienced that in corporate America. Also came across it in running my own businesses in different industries because there's good and evil in the world, right? <clears throat> there's gonna be people that are out for themselves and wanna take advantage of you. How do you how do you deal with that? What do you do about that? Um, number one, just like any toxic person or toxic relationship, you get the heck away from them. You don't have any contact with them. You definitely don't involve them in your business in any way, shape, or form. Not as business partners, not as life partners, <clears throat> not as people that you date or have relationships with, not as friends, not in your friend group, because they will undermine and harm you and they might not even be doing it maliciously, but they're so out for themselves that that is what they will automatically do. They will do whatever it takes to put themselves ahead. They're those type of people that will, you know, smash you in the head to, to get above you in the corporate ladder. They're the people that will take credit for your work, you know, in, in, in school, on group projects. They're the one that doesn't do anything, but still gets the A. And they move into corporate America, they move into the business world, and they're the people that take other people's work. I mean, we can, we all know, Big examples of people that are wolves in sheep's clothing that were business partners with someone and then they stole the business from them. I've had bad business partners. I've had bad life partner. I've had that happen to me because I wasn't able to recognize the wolf in sheep's clothing. So how do we recognize them? It's pretty easy actually. Most wolves in sheep clothing are pretty egotistical, very charismatic, but there's a couple things that you can do easily to identify a wolf in sheep's clothing. Number one, uh, if you have a mutual relationship or a mutual person that you know, when that person isn't around, have a conversation involving that person and listen to the way they communicate. Do they, do they put that other person down? Do they try to make themselves look better than that person? Do they compare themselves to that person? Do they trash talk or gossip about that person? If they do, that's a clear indication that someone is a toxic personality and a wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, gossiping about other people is, <laughs> and people might take offense to this because there's a lot of people that gossip. But guess what? If they gossip to you about other people, when you're not there, they're gossiping about you. Do you really want to set up relationships with people like that? I would say run away as fast as you can. 
Um, so you can identify them that way. You can identify if people, um, I, I had this on projects in corporate America. If people are asking you all kinds of questions and then at offering to help you on something, there's a lot of awesome people that will help you with projects. But if they are offering to help you and they do little things and they're trying to hurry along the project and they're creating other problems and challenges, that might be an indication that they are looking to take credit for a project or work that you're working on. Uh, again, like I said, I could regale lots of stories about that in corporate America, about uh, people that would undermine it and, you know, cutthroat behavior. And some industries encourage that, which I find really sort of intolerable. <laughs> but that's, that's up to each and every one of us to create the culture and the business that we want. But I would say like any toxic personalities, keep them out of our businesses as much as is humanly possible. Or if you realize that you have let a wolf in sheep's clothing into your business or into your life, find ways to extricate yourself as soon as possible. Curious to hear your experience with this particular idiom, wolf in sheep's clothing? Like I said, my, my dad used to always say, I never met a con man I didn't like. And it's so true. Often uh, some of the most charismatic people uh, are are a challenge or a toxic personality to you know, narcissists to a lot of people are awesome but to the people that they're in the closest relationships with are are horrible right it's just like control freaks things like that so that's our idiom for today wolf in sheep's clothing have an awesome day uh, share in the comments below your experience with this idiom or expression have you heard it have you used it uh, have you ever run across a wolf uh, those are some fun stories to share especially with people that have had common experiences we can help to more clearly identify them and keep them out of our businesses and out of our lives. All right, have an awesome day and I'll be with you tomorrow.